Hello, hello everybody. It is officially August 1st. <sighs> Can I just tell you, I don't want it to be August right now. <laughs> All right, so I finished my book revision slash rewrites for Camp NaNoWriMo. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail here just because I did talk about it in my wrap up vlog. I just haven't posted it yet. So that will be coming hopefully hopefully this week. Yeah, <laughs> you never know with me. So I didn't have a great like last week of camp. I was only working for like a couple hours each week, but that was enough to get me to the end of my book. I, oh my God, it took me like two years to do the last two thirds of my book, I'm gonna say. And I do know that it is an incredible amount of words. So I do understand this, like why it took me that long. <laughs> But I kind of like don't even understand how I finished it. It doesn't it doesn't feel real yet Normally I would take a break from the editing let the book rest let myself rest But because I know it's going to take me a long time to work on this book now just because of the length of it <laughs> I'm going to kind of jump right into it. I have a plan. I, I have a plan Basically, my plan, my plan is for the month of August, it, at the very least, I don't know how long this will actually take me, but for the month of August, I'm going to transfer my Word document into Scrivener and or Google Docs. Help, maybe both while I'm at it, I, I don't know. So <laughs> I don't have chapters in my book. I only have like the changing point of view sections. And I'm going to put those into Scrivener or Google Docs scene by scene, basically, or section by section, because sometimes it, more than one point of view covers a scene. So I'm going to be doing that and kind of doing my read through as I like copy and paste stuff into, into the new program. As I do the read through, I'm going to be basically making note of like a brief sentence of what is covered in that section. You know, the narrating character, of course, other characters who are involved, the plot or subplots involved. So hopefully as I'm doing this read through, making note of that as well as making notes of anything that I feel I need to add or change in the next draft, I will be able to get a, <coughs> I'm losing my voice, a wider view of what's happening in my book right now because at this point I don't really remember the first half of my book because it's been a while since I worked on it. I know it from like an outline perspective, but I haven't reread what I wrote since I redid the first half of the book. So this is why I feel like it's okay for me to just jump right back in because I really don't remember the beginning of the book now. So I'm gonna be making note of that, all that good stuff and hopefully getting a look at what's happening in my book now. So basically revising my outline again based on what my book is right now because the thing is I have a lot of work still to do on it and I knew that as I was approaching the end because I basically when I ended up focusing on certain characters and plot lines in this new draft trying to like beef it up I ended up letting a lot of characters and plots that were important in the first draft kind of fall to the wayside so it's like now I have to fix that aspect and bring back some balance into the character storylines and stuff. So I do know I have a lot of work left to do on it. I I'm okay. So I don't know how long it'll take me to do this read through as I'm looking at stuff and moving things around into different documents. I'm hopefully gonna be done in August, but it is a long book. So I guess it depends how much I can get done every day. I am gonna start today, but I'm still kind of at a point where I'm only able to sit down for a little bit of time and not all at once. Like the two hours that I say I worked every day or almost every day in the last week, I didn't do like two hours all together. It's like that was the time put together over the course of the day because it hurts me to sit down right now. So <sighs> it's, it's probably gonna be more slow going than I would like. That's okay. My other kind of plan is because I did not end up working on the novella, the prequel novella, like I wanted to. I would like to start that at the very least. Like maybe I don't finish it because I want to prioritize the start of my next revision <laughs> for the main book. So I would like to at least start the prequel novella. And I'm, I think I'm still gonna write it by hand because that was my plan. And that still sounds like a good thing to me. That's where I'm at right now, just in terms of like what's next for me is that I'm gonna just go right into the revisions and hopefully writing the novella at some point. But I I don't be surprised if this goes into September because I won't be. I will not be surprised at all. So 
it's okay though i'm looking forward to this because getting back to the beginning parts of my book where my beginning is still pretty solid in terms of like that first act i would say that doesn't require a lot of work for the plot certain details i need to change now because i've changed my mind about them <laughs> in the last draft. A little bit of work, but the, the last portion that I was writing that basically is a first draft all over again needs a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take me a while, but I'm looking forward to it and seeing what kind of progress I can make because I just, I almost felt like the day would never come when I finished the, this, this second draft that I've been working on for so long. <laughs> So the fact that I can start a third draft now and go into it and oh, my book is so long so I know it's going to take me a while but I would either like to look to see if I can because everyone's suggesting I try to like cut the book in half. So I was like I'm going to see if that might be capable once I get another look at the plot. I'm not sure that it is. Maybe I will because like I either need to cut out a hundred plus thousand words or I need to cut this first book into two. I do understand that. I'm just like ugh. Everyone's like, high fantasy though, you know, Lord of the Rings is good. Uh, Dawn gave me that example, like the Lord of the Rings books, that they're not standalone and they, together, they are one story. And I was like, yes, that is true. And like, I know Game of Thrones is kind of like that as well. If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I've read some of those books, but they have so many narrating point of views. I think it's still third person, but you have all these different characters and settings and storylines that you shift between and at the end of a book, you're not necessarily getting resolution to any of them. And sometimes it ends on a cliffhanger. And sometimes you get a couple of perspectives for one storyline. So then it's like hardly anything happens. So I, I would say I was like, yeah, okay, that makes sense for a long series that happens like that. But I'm writing a contemporary fantasy series. So like generally urban fantasy tends to be shorter. You know, like they're normal size books, no normal average size books. So I'm I'm over here applying high fantasy rules to my contemporary fantasy and I just I don't know. I I, I don't know honestly. So <laughs> that's just where I'm at right now. And because I'm doing Veda, I'm going to be updating like kind of as I go. I don't know that I will update every day, but I am hoping to incorporate some different different stuff into my vlogs as I go. And this one is just kind of a sit down introduction to the rest of the week, but maybe I will include a little bit of my efforts to start the next draft revision. So we'll see. But for now, it's time to pick the giveaway winner for my Y'all West prize packages. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to the raffle copter and pick the winners. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Add a random winner, Megan! Megan S, you have won one of the prize packages. Woo! Woo woo woo! Okay, and let's pick one more. Nancy Payette. All right, so my email is novelykj at gmail.com. It will also be linked down below. Send me an email with your guys' name and address so I can send you your prize packages. <laughs> I'm really excited so I hope you guys will enjoy your books and your packages. Thank you guys very much for everybody who entered the giveaway and subscribed and commented on videos and I just I want you all to know that I really really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys' support and yeah. I Okay, so I've done the first like 30 pages of transferring. It's gonna take me a while because I have 700 some odd pages in this Word document now, I think. Yeah, yeah, over 700. So <laughs> it's gonna take me a while. I do think it is doable for the month of August because <sighs> the actual copying and pasting doesn't take me that long, but when I actually start the read through, that's when it'll be uh, interesting. Hopefully I'll be done this month, but we shall see. I'll, I'll maybe do small updates for uh, daily stuff but I am going to be doing like bookish things and, and different things throughout the month just so that I'm not constantly talking about my own book I guess I don't know uh, we'll see we'll see I've never tried to do vlogging every day so we, we shall see how this goes all right it'll be it'll be a fun trial run for for both for both of us all right okay okay all right sounds good sounds good okay so that's it yeah 
I'm I'm gonna keep doing this right now and I've already announced the giveaway winner so that's that, that's good done that <laughs> that was the one thing I really needed to do today but I'm gonna keep working on this while I can and see how much I can get done for today yeah that sounds sounds like a plan all right so thank you very much for watching if you like this video you can give it a like and comment down below let me know what your guys plans are for August or you know whenever you're watching this video <laughs> and I will see you in my next video which will be tomorrow if you're watching these like sequentially as I as I upload <laughs> hopefully <laughs> yeah thank you for watching I will see you guys next time <laughs> bye